a veteran stand-up comedian. Would you please make welcome Rick Roberts! Thank you very much. How about a nice round of applause for Shonda, of course, everybody. All right. Well, it's good to be here. Hope you guys are having some uh, fun this evening. I just got back from visiting my parents up in Kentucky, so it's good to be back down here in Tennessee. Had to go help out my parents. They're getting a little paranoid. Installed a home security system in their house. They're 70 years old. Lived in the same house since 1963. I asked my wife, she goes, well now all the cool stuff in our house is going to be safe. I had to take a look around that house one more time to see what she's talking about. I said, Mom, unless they're selling doilies on eBay, it ain't going on around here right now. Pretty sure if somebody broke into your house, they would turn the gun on themselves for picking this house. They would think they hit a 70s museum by accident. They knock down the door, trip over a beanbag chair. Shag carpet has not tangled up for 20 or 30 minutes. They slam into the wall, big orange picture made out of yarn and nails that come right down. They get up, my dad starts throwing pet rocks at him. Stay down, stay down! <laughs> they couldn't take my parents' stereo. They had to bring eight more people and a pickup truck with hydraulics to get that stereo. You know the one? Eight foot wide hi-fi. Looks like wood made out of plastic and it's heavier than concrete. Would y'all have green, red, or gold velour speakers three feet apart from each other? I said, Mom, if somebody breaks this house, you don't need a home security system. You just hide in that middle compartment between the speakers until they go away. <laughs> Pop out, hit them with an old Oak Ridge Boys 8-track. Take care. Giddy up a um up a mile mouth. Feeling froggy? <laughs> Really shouldn't make fun of that stereo. It's going to be mine one day. <laughs> Circle of life. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my parents, I wonder how I even made it this far in life. You know? The advice, to, now I, I became a parent about four years ago. Everything they told me about raising a kid, completely wrong, said baby proof the house. Baby proof. Y'all ever tried to baby proof? We can't do it. We spent three hours on that and he still got back in. Yeah. <laughs> We forgot about the doggy door in the garage, and there he was. I said, sleep when the baby sleeps. It's the only time you can rest. We totaled three minivans the first year. <laughs> sleep when the baby sleeps. They don't love me. They love that baby, but they don't love me telling me stuff like that. I love being a dad. It's exciting to be a dad. You know, I, I learned things. You know, we're, we're on potty training still. Almost four-year-old boy. Boys take longer, but four years old, man. If he don't come around soon, I'm getting a pressure washer and just calling it even, you know. <laughs> 45 PSI, things are taken care of. <laughs> I swear, we're on the Fruit Loop Cheerio method of potty training this boy. Some people know what I'm talking about. Some people don't. We put bowls of Fruit Loops in all the bathrooms in the house. When he's got to go, or sometimes me, I'll show him you throw some Fruit Loops in there, gives him something else to think about instead of doing what he's told to do. But I forget people come visit my house that have no idea. <laughs> A friend of mine came over for dinner, walked out of my bathroom, he's like, man, just buy some potpourri. You're the cheapest man I ever met. <laughs> so follow your nose, get out of here. I didn't think I was going to change any diapers at the beginning. My wife's friend bought a something called a diaper genie. Not what it sounds like. I thought some magical genie is going to hop out of a lamp at 2 in the morning and change the diaper and hop back in there. It's an $18 stinky bucket. That's all it is. Saves up 20 diapers in a big old sausage link so you can drag it out to the trash on Thursday. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. This is a gift that keeps on giving right here, ain't it? Yeah. If there was a genie, I'd ask for some Febreze. Come on. It's good, to, it's good to have babies. It's good to have a wife. I mean, I'm lucky. Look at me. I'm lucky to be married, aren't I? 
a lot of Southern guys in here marry up. We all marry up in the South. It's true. And I love being married. Uh, it's relaxing to be a married man, to be honest with you. When I was single, I thought I had it made. Oh, no, I was so wrong. Single fella has to wake up every day, figure out where he's going to go and what he's going to do and what time he should be done doing that. And, That could wear a young man out right there. <laughs> Once I got married, haven't had to make them stressful decisions ever again. <laughs> I wake up, there's a post-it note stapled into my forehead. <laughs> I'll see you after Home Depot, all righty. <laughs> hey, could you call me every three or four minutes and ask where I'm at and why it's taking... I knew you would. Sorry about that. I got it. I got it. You're my little GPS. I know that. You are... I got a global pestering system. That's what I got. <laughs> hey, it's her joke. It was on my post-it note this morning, so I had to tell you all that joke. All right. <laughs> Love being married. My in-laws, they're a blessing. They live down near Hot Springs, Arkansas. Anybody familiar Hot Springs area? Beautiful down there. It's a laid back in Arkansas now. You turn on news talk radio down there, it's just a guy whistling because there ain't squat going on around Arkansas. <laughs> If you hear humming, those are commercials right there. <laughs> my, my favorite in-law is my brother-in-law. They call him Skillet. Uh, he got beat up by a Waffle House waitress one time. So. <laughs> you can't live long enough to get rid of a nickname like that. <laughs> he was scattered, smothered, and covered right there in the parking lot. <laughs> He's a blessing. He took me deer hunting with him last year. He uh, modified a UPS van to go deer hunting in. <laughs> I'm like, isn't this thing bad on gasoline? He goes, yeah, but I can park anywhere I want to. <laughs> but the uh, thing I didn't realize, there's only two good seats in the UPS van, and I'm the third guy to get in. I don't get them flip-down seats. I'm in the back. They got me duct taped to an old office chair to the side wall. Of, yeah, I'm okay on the highway. We hit farm country, I'm up in the front, I'm in the back, side to side. I spring loose, they just throw the roll of duct tape back at me. I'm like, you want me to duct tape myself back to the wall of this UPS van? They're like, no, scratch off a piece about this big and cover up your mouth. You're scaring away all the deer out here. And we did, man, I was just happy to go hunting. When I got engaged, my wife found out I had a rifle. Took it and sold it while I was out of town. I get back, I was pretty mad. I said, honey, we're just married now, and you're just stealing my stuff and selling it? She goes, well, I know how clumsy you are, Rick. You get out there in the woods, trip on a stump, and shoot your head, and where's that going to leave me the rest of my life? <laughs> After six years of marriage, she got me a new rifle this past Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> it was loaded, and everything went up in that bad bus. <laughs> Y'all been great. Enjoy the weekend. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Rick, will